Hey everyone, to the Collect Jurassic, we're back with another Mattel Jurassic World toy unboxing. Today we're looking at one of my favorite things from Jurassic World Dominion's toy line, and that is minis. Lots of minis. I have the Wave 2 blind boxes that I'm going to go over, show off what's inside, let you know what the codes are on the outside of the box. You can figure out what's in them before you even buy them. I have this nifty uh, five pack of Hot Wheels, or I guess uh, Matchbox, right? Um, that also comes with mini dinosaurs too, so I thought that would be kind of fun to unbox. Then of course, I I have the advent calendar thing that uh, I think is going to be really cool because there's some Jurassic Park surprises in here. That's right, Jurassic Park, not Jurassic World. There's some really cool stuff in here. So we're going to be opening that. I know we're way ahead of December I'm opening up our advent calendar, but I can't wait. And I want to show off everything minis today in this review. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and start with this little five pack of uh, Matchbox cars. Uh, these are official, obviously, from Mattel. Uh, they own Hot Wheels and matchbox but sometimes they do hot wheel stuff sometimes they do matchbox just depends this is a matchbox release though technically it's a vehicle five pack but it's four vehicles and a miniature dinosaur which is fun um my, my box came kind of messed up you can see there's like plastic coming off it but i'm gonna go ahead and open it anyway it doesn't have um you know it has a legacy collection logo right has that legacy collection um branding from dominion with the t-rex and like the the um the cool sunset just hints of it and they have a random picture illustration of the explorer on the back so we'll go ahead and open this one up i think i'm i'm trying not to mangle it but i don't think there's a way to open this that doesn't constitute mangling it so apologies but that's what's happening here um go ahead and just pull out this tray yeah, see that wasn't too bad then inside we have the uh lost world um mercedes-benz vehicle which is pretty cool it's got the tire on top i mean these these vehicles themselves I don't think I've ever reviewed them on the channel, but they've been coming out since 2018, and this is these are basically re-releases. I don't have the old ones for comparison. There might be some slight differences in like paint saturation, paint tint, that stuff. But this looks exactly like I remember. It even has the little Mercedes Benz um, logo right there. Um, which is just a really cool little detail, but it's got all the camo, it's got the see-through windows, the top, all that stuff. So that's the first one, the Benz. We also have um, the Jeep, the JP18 um, classic Jeep, right? Um, it's even got the red, the red axles. Um, it's got like a cool windshield, roll cage, tire on the back. It's got it all. It's even got the little Jurassic Park logo on the door number 18, the Jeep mark. So pretty detailed, all things considered. Um, and it's, it's a nice little tiny size Jeep that's gonna go well with all these dinosaurs, hopefully. So that's the Jeep that it comes with. This one's my favorite. Comes with the Ford Explorer, right? My One of my favorite Jurassic Park vehicles. And this is a really cool version because again, it's got the yellow hubcaps. It's got the graphics on the side, even the number Jeep. Um, it has the sunroof, it's got the logo on the hood, all that good stuff. One, one thing it's sort of missing is the, the top should be like red going down, but beggars can't be choosers. I mean, they only had so much paint they could put on these cars and they actually did a pretty good job. I just think the top probably needs a little bit more red, but, um, that's my favorite Jurassic vehicle. And I think this Hot Wheels, um, or sorry, <laughs> Matchbox version is way better. I gotta stop saying Hot Wheels. That's just... A big faux pas, right? Then lastly, um, those were all Jurassic Park, you know, Jurassic Park 1, Lost World. We also have this submarine from Fallen Kingdom, which that's okay. Submarine's an awesome vehicle. It's a unique one. This is supposed to be the one from the beginning of Fallen Kingdom. It's actually pretty, um, pretty like, uh, like faithful, I would say. I mean, it, it looks like it. It's got all the different, like, saws and claws and all that stuff. So pretty, pretty faithful that it's got that cool um, globe as well. Interested to see if this thing sinks in the water or floats, but that's the Mosasaur submarine, right? Um, then we also have one free dino inside. It looks like a Triceratops. Um, the first thing I noticed about this Triceratops is that it's not soft rubber, like the Triceratops is from the Minis line this year. I got one with me right here. This guy is, um, you know, he's got soft, he's, his tail bends, his, his legs, you know, bend easily. This guy is like hard plastic. He's kind of like the um, Triceratops is from like last year, really. Like he, he doesn't bend very much, but he's got all the same detail and he's literally the exact same size, just a slightly different color tinge. But yeah, that hard plastic, I like the soft plastic this year. I just 
hope that it maintains its shape when you keep these things kind of all you know stuck together in a box right the hard ones are a little bit more oh a little bit more hardy they don't uh they don't give as much but you can see right here just these triceratops is how nicely they pair with a couple vehicles um i mean that, that's just a really nice scale that you have between these i guess the the jeep could be a little smaller right um same thing with the explorer but it's close enough and it's a it's a fun it's just kind of fun that they can play adjacent and want to one another the the minis and the vehicles which is why i included them in this review not just because they came with the literal mini but it's fun to see the comparisons um the submarine and the mini mosasaur i would say the mosasaur in the movie was massive um and it was like three times this size but you get that little um combo too with these guys the, Mo the mosasaur and the submarine that you can play with once you get this five pack so that's the uh the matchbox set if you will um the five pack that includes the dinosaur um we'll go ahead and jump into the minis next with their codes and all that stuff um there's eight all together in this wave i can grab a box real quick i'll show you there's there's you can get all eight of these um all of them every single box contains um at least one new dinosaur with the exception of giga giga is not new um you can see on here the codes are right here um right by the barcode and they end in 2b or if i grabbed another one it would end in 3b you see 2b 3b so that's kind of what i'll be talking about with codes and and what you get inside the only one i didn't buy is um is i think it's 1b and that was giganatosaurus um because i do have so many of those gigas i mean i have so many it's literally this figure it's the same exact figure there's nothing new about it um it, it has the same articulation same paint job same same colored eyes i mean there's literally nothing new about the wave 2 giga it comes by itself doesn't come with anything new so that's the only one i won't be unboxing on camera today um just because it is going to be the giga and i didn't want to spend <laughs> the extra money on something i already had just to show you guys but we'll go ahead and open up a new one that i don't have all the figures inside of and this code will be 3b so inside we're gonna be looking at 3b so i'm gonna go ahead and actually carefully open this because i actually want to keep the boxes um so i'm gonna I'm just gonna go ahead and do my normal slice i hope here right yeah just take a little bit of extra time but um then i can then i can keep the boxes so i can pop this out and pull out my dinosaurs inside Every box comes with a little piece of paper um, for wave two as well. Um, but inside we have Therizinosaurus, um, who is not new, um, not a new figure. It's got posable arms. Um, but again, this one is, is one we've already got a couple times. So nothing new there. Um, but what is new, at least for a lot of people, is going to be Pyroraptor. Um, he's a new figure in this wave. So there you see him. So you got some sort of white stuff on him. That's weird. Um, looks like it's just like a a piece of plastic or something attached to his eye. Let's see if I can get it off. Yeah, I'm not gonna mess that on camera, but that's Pyro. Um, I got him actually in the um, the set with Alan. Uh, no, the set with Kayla in the airplane. If you watched my review of that set, that one came with the Pyro Raptor too. But um, here's another one. So now I got two Pyro Raptors. A really cool sculpt with the feathers on the arms and all that stuff. I don't know what's going on with his head though. He's got some sort of growth on his eye. I don't know. Must have been hanging out in the Biosyn Valley for too long. So that was, remind me, that was that was code three. So moving on at the, the next code, this is um, two. So I'm going a little bit out of order, but this is two. So we'll go ahead and see what's inside. And one more thing, I'll put the codes um, I'll put them in, in the video description. So if you don't want to, um, take notes while I do this video, you can always just pop down to the description. Look for that. Ooh, here's a, here's a couple new figures I don't have. Awesome. Um, so we got a Stegosaurus in here. Uh, that's all new. Uh, I thought it was going to be the same as the Stegosaurus we've already gotten, which I suppose I could pull those out for reference. Yeah right off camera here so this is a stegosaurus we've already gotten um in the first wave we also got or at least in a playset or something similar so those are the two we already have this is the new one it's got all new detail on its uh on its plates i thought it was going to be the same as this one so i'm happily um surprised that it's a little bit different so now we have 
three different kinds of stegosaurus. I gotta say, this one might be my favorite though. I really like that, tip, those tips of orange on its crest. That's that's a lot of fun. So, um, new stegosaurus in this code. Um, and then we have an all new figure that I don't have at all, which is Dilophosaurus. It's a little tiny Dilophosaurus, gray with red frills, very much like their original mini back in um, 2018. Um, very similar to that one. Um, doesn't even really have Dominion movie coloring, right? Doesn't have those brighter colors. But that is, um, that's the, uh, that's the Dilophosaurus. He's tiny though. He's really tiny, which is cool. So that's Dilophosaurus. And look how tiny he is next to like Giga, right? I mean, he's, he's tiny. As he should be. So there's Dilophosaurus and Stegosaurus. Again, that was code two. So that was all new. Um, Next up, we're gonna look at code four. So we've done three, two, and this will be four. So we'll go ahead and look and see what's inside this one. And it's going to be, going to be, oh, another new dinosaur I do not have. So we have uh, a Trociraptor in here. I think this is supposed to be a Trociraptor red. Um, I think I have a version of him, but this one looks like way more detailed. He's got literally yellow paint on his eyes, maybe. Am I making that up? I don't know. He kind of looks like he's got more detailed eyes than my other ones. Definitely has more paint on his face. So it's a little bit different. Um, so that's a Trociraptor red. Then we also have all new Suchomimus, heavily based on the full-size Mattel Suchomimus. It's got jaw articulation, different paint colors though, though. We, we've never had paint colors on a Suchomimus like this before. So in that case, it's, it's a little bit novel compared to the Mattel figure, but Suchomimus, medium sized figure to go with all these minis. Medium meaning he's not quite as, uh, he's not quite as big as like Giga, but he's but he's um, bigger than like a Trociraptor. So those are like kind of like the three sizes they have for, oh no, everyone fell over. Those are the kind of the three sizes they have for Jurassic minis is a uh, large, which is like T-Rex and Giga, basically, medium and then small, which is a lot of these smaller figures like Gallimimus and Dilo and all that. So Suchomimus with the poseable jaw, the little painted eyes, the interesting color mix. That was a fun one to open. Let's go ahead and get the last four down. I'm itching to get to that advent calendar as I'm sure a lot of you are all too. Open up. Oh, I didn't look at the code. This one's code is, sorry, getting ahead of myself. This one's code is 7B. Um, and inside we have a new paint coloration for Iguanodon. I like this. This is sort of like gray stripey deal. So that's kind of a new one for uh, for Iguanodon. Um, the, the previous wave had this nice one with like the lighter colored head that I think is supposed to be kind of like Dominion. And another pack, I don't remember which one, I got the... Uh, there's so many mini packs now that I came in and keep track of where I got this one. Um, but here's another Iguanodon. So that's three that you can get so far. I'm um, counting this new color. Um, I love how the minis all have different colors all the time. I think that lets you kind of build some interesting, unique herds, which I'm all about making new herds. So that's Iguanodon. We also have Concapenator in this box. Um, definitely the same coloration as the I think it was a dual attack one that came out a while ago sort of some crazy colors i never really liked the colors on it and i can't say i like them here either would have liked a different concavenator um maybe like the black one was really cool but here's concavenator for the minis new for the minis no jaw articulation or anything um he's just a static sculpt but that's concavenator a new figure for this line and then next up we have 6b that's code 6b and again, I will put these, I feel like I'm playing bingo. 6B, uh, anyone have 6B? But no, I'm gonna put these codes in the description. So again, don't don't worry about not writing everything down. Ooh, we have a new Triceratops. Very deep color in this one. Um, much deeper than the other ones. I don't think I'm gonna pull out every single one for this one, but I will go ahead and pull out the one that I was using before for the five pack comparison. You can see there's similar pattern and all that stuff, but the color is much deeper um on this on this new version it's a little bit more saturated making sure my camera is focusing yeah it's focusing here so um that's the new triceratops um 
with that deeper color there. So there it is. Uh, also in this wave was another medium-sized figure, Ceratosaurus, gaining lots of popularity with Jurassic. First in Jurassic Park 3, and now it's been in Camp Cretaceous. There's a Hammond Collection figure. Love this uh, coloration of it. It's very similar to the minis they did last year, um, but it's now... Oh, I just dropped him. He's appropriately sized, so he's not the same size as, as T-Rex or Giga. He's He's smaller. Um, which is nice. So that's the, the famous red-headed version too, which is cool. That's like kind of like the canon uh, coloration of this dinosaur. So that was Stratosaurus and Triceratops. We're down to the bitter end here. Just two more to go. Here is code 5B. Go ahead and slice this one open and take a look inside. Inside we got Ankylosaurus. So that one's new, um, not, a, not a new minis, not a new figure species per se, but new for this minis line. Pretty boring paint job on this guy, actually. He's got like a little bit of a tint on his back. Otherwise, he's just gray. He's got little painted eyes that you can see. Um, otherwise, you know, he's not, not a lot going on. I don't know what movie he's supposed to be from, but he's sort of lighter, kind of underwhelming colors, if you will. Um, but we got Baryonyx in here. I think this is supposed to be Grim. Baryonyx Grimm, um, you know, Camp Cretaceous loves, or sorry, Mattel Jurassic loves making these like, kind of like, um, you know, uh, repaints of the same figure because they're characters. We already have another Baryonyx, um, but uh, this one's from Camp Cretaceous. You could say it's Chaos. Now we got Grimm. So really just missing Limbo now for the painted Baryonyxes from uh, Camp Cretaceous for this new minis line. But I got to say, they did the minis last year. They did all three Baryonyxes, and the colorations were, they weren't very vivid. You really couldn't tell the difference. But these ones are much more vivid and apparent that like, oh, this is definitely a different Baryonyx than Chaos even. So I like the more subtle or the more like, obvious colors versus the subtle ones myself so this would be baryonyx grim that we got along with ankylosaurus which leads us to our last mini box before we get to the the main event the advent calendar um the code here is 8b so out of all eight boxes 1b was giga and 8b is well, pro by process of elimination that's going to be t-rex only one figure in here because it's a big one it's meant to be uh, the Bull T-Rex from Lost World. This is sort of Mattel's version of it. It's always green with darker colors on it with that lighter colored jaw. But it's very similar to the, uh, I'm off camera here, the T-Rex that's already come out that's supposed to kind of be Rexy from Dominion. This is the um, this is the, the Lost World Sorna version of that T-Rex with the green on it. So that's the Jurassic Park three t-rex if you will or you could call it even call it the bull t-rex i guess um maybe it's supposed to be more the bull but that is the uh full wave of um of wave two minis everything here plenty of new figures only a couple repeats honestly therizinosaurus and giga are, are really the only true repeats in this wave this this one is exactly the same and then um you know what i'm even like doubting is it exactly the same? Because I want to get it out and see. Yeah, it's ex it's it's exactly the same. Well, no, look at that. It's not exactly the same. See, I'm glad I did this comparison. The arm is different, right? No, never mind. I'm I'm seeing things that aren't there. I'm like, this is different. The arm is different, but I just have them posed differently. See, I, now I can't even tell which one was which. Um, yeah, no, he's the same. So really, Therizinosaurus, and what did I say? Um... Giga. Those were really, really, literally the only two completely repeat figures here. Everything else was new um, that you either couldn't get in blind boxes before or completely unique to this set because of the paint job or something like that. So that's wave two. Again, the codes are all in the video description box. Now let's go ahead and hit up the advent calendar. Let me go ahead and move some toys backwards so that we have room to... Um, to unbox here we need we need our room so give me one second while i just kind of sit all these toys back that i just unboxed i'm pretty fast at arranging toys though so it won't be long i'm just going to go ahead and move all these back in a visually pleasing way so that we can 
dive right into this advent set um that is uh I think it's 24 different things to unbox, which is cool. So a lot of fun. I mean, if you're not familiar with advent calendars, it's something that, you know, around the holidays, you kind of use it to like count down the days until, you know, Christmas or, you know, whatever you celebrate, right? Um, I've always have, had them growing up. Never had the pleasure of having a Jurassic one. So that's kind of a big deal for me. And this one, it looks awesome. I mean, I already know what's inside because it was on the... The description when I bought it off Amazon, which by the way, if you want to buy this, uh, you can check it out on Collect Jurassic. The links are there to buy it, but um, it's got 24 things inside. Um, 24 days of fun, it says. I don't know if you can see the little perforated window doors. We'll open those one by one. It says one figure, 19 dinosaurs, and 10 accessories over here. I did want to show off the back of the box too. It's got this really cool um, illustration of a uh, T-Rex and the parasaurial offices in the snow. Also, randomly, uh, a silhouette of um, <laughs> Blue and Beta running, but I love this uh, illustration back here. It's pretty cool. Um, 30 surprises inside. That's that's a lot of stuff. So first thing we're gonna do is um, we're gonna cut this uh, plastic covering that is covering the whole thing so that we can actually get at what's inside. Can we do it? Nice big blue and beta illustration on the front too. Um, hold on, let me just get this plastic off. Making, there we go. All right, so there it is. Um, and I guess there's instructions, but we don't need instructions. We're gonna go ahead and start with uh, number one, which is, why am I not seeing it? I'm seeing seven and, oh, there's number one right here on beta's face. So if we open that up, what's inside but another Ceratosaurus. Let's see if I can pop them out of here. So we got a Ceratosaurus right here. A different coloration than what I just unboxed. Very similar to another full-size Mattel figure of this coloration, but he's even got a little painted yellow eye. So they did a good job painting these. Oh, look at He's even got a little iris. Incredible. I don't know how they do that detail. That's incredible. Um, but a little Ceratosaurus for day number one. Uh, pretty exciting. Uh, First day's dinosaur. We're gonna go ahead and open up number two up here in the corner. Oh, this one's cool. Can I get him out? Um, <laughs> I don't think I can get him out. He's like stuck in there. It's a little man. There we go. Okay, just had to get my finger back there. So this guy is awesome. I don't know if you can see this. Okay, there we go. This is the Jurassic Park worker with the little helmet on. He doesn't have the logo, but he's got the jumpsuit. I, I will say he doesn't have any articulation. Um, he's literally just a guy. Uh, a lot of these minifigures, like I, the one I, I pulled out here to help us unbox, they have like some arm articulation and leg articulation so they can like sit and put their hands up in the air. But this new guy does not have any such articulation. He's literally just a dude with a hard hat. But I love the fact that it's Jurassic Park. Look, he's got little painted eyes and everything. I love the fact that it's Jurassic Park. That, to me, means the world, having a little Jurassic Park worker. So I hope this means that Mattel is working on um, three and three-quarter Hammond Collection versions or something like that of the Jurassic Park worker, because that'd be so cool. So that's fun. That might even be one of my favorites in this set, is that little Jurassic Park worker. So that was day number two. Moving on to day number three. We got a lot to get through, so I better get going. Uh, we have a Dimetrodon, um, which I think doesn't look different than the Dimetrodon that came with the um, the Alan Grant's little mini set that I talked about earlier. Um, so that, that could be a repeat Dimetrodon, but um, if you don't can't find that set, this advent calendar is a good place to, you know, to get it. So number four looks like a Velociraptor. We can pull him out of there. There we go. That's a new Raptor. It almost looks like uh, maybe Almost looks like Delta or something. I don't know, doesn't it? It's kind of got that darker green on it, grayish green. So there's a Velociraptor we got with the little subtle stripes on there. No painted eye, though, for whatever reason. So got a Velociraptor. I'm going to call that like a, I don't know, maybe it's like a Jurassic Park Raptor. And then number five, looks like a bigger thing for number five. What do we got here? Oh, another Suchomimus. Um, Is this different than the Suchomimus I just opened? I can't really tell. Um... I guess there's only one way to find out. Oh, eh. 
It's basically the same, yeah. So it's basically the same as Suchomimus, which makes me wonder if this Dimetrodon is exactly the same as the one that came with the Alan Grant set. So we'll have to check that out. So there's Suchomimus, so not technically um, a new figure. Come on, stand up, buddy. He's not going to stand up. All right, there we go. See, I'm just going to dig out my um, Dimetrodon real quick, just so we can do a quick comparison. Yeah, that's the Dimetrodon that comes with the Alan Grant set. And if we put them next together, uh, right next to each other, they are the same. They're the same. Yeah, I mean, they're basically uh, almost exactly. Yeah, everything about them is the same. So um, not necessarily the Dimetrodon that comes with this advent calendar is not necessarily unique to this set. All right, number five, that leads to number six. Oh, didn't quite get that door open. I'm mangling it. I'm sorry, everybody. I know people hate when I mangle the boxes. Here we have a Pteranodon with a yellow beak on it. Again, this one's not, I know this one is uh, from Wave 1, the minis, uh, Wave 1 blind boxes, same exact Pteranodon. So you get a second one. Um, make a nice little flock of Pteranodons from this set. That was number, what was that? I just do six. That means seven. We're moving right along here. Seven is Stegosaurus. So there's Stego. I think I brought the Stegos on earlier to show all the different versions. And, and this one's kind of a repeat of uh, of the Stego we got um, before. So um, not, a, not a net new figure necessarily there either. Um, seven. Heading on to eight. Ooh, another Ankylosaurus. Definitely the same kind of version that we unbox in Wave 2 with those subtle colors. So another Ankylosaurus for you. And then let's see, where are we at? Uh, we're looking for number nine. Big door here on the bottom. Looks like we got some fences. A bunch of fences in here. Just keeps going. Looks like we got four different fences. One of my favorite things about the mini line is definitely these fences. I love the fact that they have the little like Jurassic Park mark on them and they fit together pretty effortlessly. And a lot of different sets come with them. And I think it's awesome this Advent Counter set comes with them because kids can basically... Sorry, I'm trying to do this on camera while I talk. Um, kids, kids can make little enclosures with them, which is just super fun. So there's those four all fitting together, waiting to become a full paddock as I keep unboxing things. So that was number nine. So let's go ahead and move on to... What are we looking at for number 10? 10's up here in the corner. Another little dino in here. Oh, I like that. That's a cool color raptor. Light gray. That's cool. That is definitely not one I don't have. So that's two raptors we have now from this set. Uh, so that was 10. Leads us to 11. 11. Ooh. Lystrosaurus. Come on, little guy. Come on out. He's fun. We love this guy with those little painted tusks and painted eyes and all that stuff. So there's Lystrosaurus. He's probably similar to one that's come out in a different set. Uh, and then 12, moving right along to 12. Oh, Baryonyx, another uh, Baryonyx Grim, similar to Wave 2's Baryonyx Grim. So there's that. Um, and then let's see, 13, 13, 13. Where's 13? Oh. Another little dino up here. Looks like this is a Gallimimus. Ooh, he's a fun color that I don't have. There's tons of Gallimimuses in the mini. Oh, another one I dropped. There's tons of Gallimimuses in the mini line. Um, and this one's definitely the brightest color one we got. Ne definitely a unique figure to this set. So there's Gallimimus. Look at all the dinosaurs we've unboxed so far. And we're just about, we've hit the, the halfway mark. We're about halfway done unboxing this thing. Oh, I just ripped that door off. Got another Dilophosaurus in here. Um, he actually looks like he's got a more red frill than the one that we unboxed back here, right? No, same exact thing, same exact thing. So another little Dilophosaurus to add to my, my miniature park there. Um, so that was 13. Uh, where are we at, 14 now? Where's 14 at? Ch -ch -ch. Shout if you see it. I'm not seeing it. I see. F Why am I not seeing 14? Is this one? Is this one in the middle 14? Is that one 14? 
I see 16, 20, 24, 17, 19, 21, 23. Uh, no, I mean, this one's 15. So why am I missing 14? Guys, what am I... What am I doing wrong that I can't see this number? Um, I see 17, I see 24, 16, 22, 8, 23. Did I already open 14 and I'm just like, oh yeah, I ripped the door off of 14. Duh, sorry, sorry. Um, okay, that leads us to 15, which is the one in the middle. Got a, ooh, a guanodon in here with a, um, the, the light colored head there. So similar to the wave one iguanodon. So got another iguanodon. So that was 15. Um, brings us to 16, which is another big door down here, which means, ooh, this is a cool piece I don't have yet. Looks like a, uh, like a little bunker. That's fun. Look at that. Now see, that's a cool set. That This is a cool piece that I don't have out of, out of all the different mini sets I've collected. I do not have this little like observation platform. And I think he's supposed to like sit on top of it and, and, and look at the dinosaurs. So that's a fun little, uh, little attachment to the fences that um, I did not have. So we'll go ahead and put it on there. Come on, there we go. It do take some muscle to get on though. So that was 16. Which leads us to 17. 17 is, uh, what's this, Yang Tronosaurus. Um, got a, just like the bigger figure, just like his big brother. It's got the little articulated jaw. I think this was a wave one blind box dino too. So nothing completely new there. Um, I love how he little, stands up even. He's, he's a cool little, cool little figure without having oversized feet to stand up like that. So that was 17, which brings us to 18. Another little figure up here. Ooh, it's a ra another raptor. Um, almost looks like a tiger raptor, that orange coloring. So, no, that's a, that's three raptors we've got now, which is cool. It's almost like raptors from almost every movie. Um, you got the green, the gray, and the orange. Gray is kind of like Jurassic Park 3, if you think about it. So that's 18, and then 19 is a Triceratops. Uh, looks basically like the Triceratops from Wave 1 blind boxes. So you get a nice little trike there. Um, that was 19, which brings us to 20 down here, which looks like more fences. So I'm guessing just like the other door, it's four fences total. Let's see if I can pull this out here. Uh, Go ahead and build these real quick. I'm seeing through these doors that I'm opening on this advent calendar that um that there's actually like a background back there, which I believe is supposed to be a play surface, which is kind of a fun little detail. So we'll check that out when we're done opening up everything. So let me go ahead and add this to my enclosure I've been building back here. All right, so we got more fences than even fits on the camera. So that was 20, um, 21. Ooh, look, another Gallimimus. So in this set, you're getting two Gallimimuses, which is cool. This one looks very much like a Jurassic Gallimimus too. So I already have a little Gallimimus herd, which is which is fun. Um, sorry, some of my guys are falling down back here. So that was 21. So let's find 22. Uh, 22 is going to be... Rexy herself got another Rexy. This is, <laughs> I think, this is my fourth Rexy this year for Dominion. So, um, lots of Rexy minis coming out in this line. That was 22. So, 23. Oh, this is a new figure I do not have. Uh, Parasaur Lophus. Wow, look at the colors on this. So, this must be like Dom the Dominion version. That's a really cool sculpt, though, and the colors are really cool, too. I wish they'd paint the eye. They paint the eye on a lot of these figures, but for whatever reason, they didn't paint this one's eye. But he's got really cool colors everywhere else, which kind of makes up for it. So that's a new figure to the, from this set that I did not have, Parasaur Lophus. That leads us to the last door, number 24. Let's see what it is. <sighs> Could it be? Could it be? It's the iconic... Jurassic Park gates realized perfectly in miniature scale. Hold on. 
Oh my gosh, look at this. This is incredible. It's got the little Jurassic Park logo up there. It's got the doors that open. They open inward. All the flames, little flames are painted. It's got like a little track down there for a Jeep. Um, so cool. The back just looks like that. Um, but it opens. I don't, I don't, the doors only open. Yeah, they only open one way. They won't go, they won't go forward. There's also a little snap here that they snap. Oh no, they do open forward. So they open both ways. And they have like a little piece there that they can settle on. Um, wow, what a cool little set. I mean, this is got like a little rock texture on it and wood texture so it and it scales pretty well i mean there's the the human next to it so it's pretty big there's rexy next to it for uh for skills sake of course i could go ahead and stick this thing to the side and also grab the jeep that we opened or the explorer rather that we opened earlier you can open up those those doors and Look, it goes right in. It's kind of big, but um, I mean, that's awesome. And then you can take this whole thing, right? Um, oh no, my, my Explorer just drove away. You can take this whole enclosure that we just built out of all these pieces. You can push our dinosaurs inside. And we can basically close up shop. Oh, sorry, I'm trying to get these plastic things on um, without breaking everything down on my table sometimes ah oh, there we go so there it is now we have a full enclosure full of all the dinosaurs that we that we just opened how cool is that i mean look at that that's like a ready-made enclosure that comes with this and of course you get all the dinosaurs too i did want to check in this box um it looks like yeah this whole front piece is perforated so you can take it off and we're going to look at what's inside the box because I think there's going to be something cool inside. So, sorry, I can't do this on camera because I have too many toys on my table. Um, I'm trying to angle it so that you guys can see. Ah, there, that whole piece comes off. Oh, yeah, okay. I can just pop this whole thing off and show you guys. So the plastic comes off. And then inside is a little play tray. Look at this. I think it'll literally just pop out of here. Yep. Ugh. So you can throw away the garbage part of it. And then you're left with this little play area with like dinosaur tracks on it and stuff. How fun is that? So um, you can set it. I will set it down like this and play inside. So that's fun. I mean, this is like the whole range you get with this advent calendar you get a, basically an entire play set um including the dinosaurs so um i'm not going to set up everything all over again for the recap here but we're we are, obviously we just opened the advent calendar we opened all these um wave two minifigures as well so i have a lot of different new dinosaurs to add to my collection like dilophosaurus and Suchomimus. particularly excited about parasaurol office here that's one I didn't realize was such cool paint colors. So, so much fun stuff coming to minis. One of my favorite lines in this advent calendar is extra special because we get that Jurassic Park gate and uh, the little worker, right? So super fun. Um, but man, this was kind of a long video. There's a lot to unbox, but I hope if you stuck it out this long, you enjoyed it. I certainly enjoyed unboxing it. But again, I'm Tim with Collect Jurassic. I think that's all I got. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.